So, is this the picture? Yes, this is the picture from 1986. And uh, this is the original <laughs> yep. copy. This is it. This is the one. The original copy. Alright, let's get back. Let's focus back right. Um, Was this your first night meeting him? Very first, yes. Um, actually on 42nd Street. Um, back in the days, I don't know if they still do it now, but back in the days, there was a photographer that was out there, and um, you just take pictures all day long. How many ones that you want to pay for, you just take flicks all day long. And he actually asked me, could he take a picture with me, and I told him no at first. And then he said, please. And he just started smiling, and that smile just did it. And I was like, come on. And we took a bunch of pictures, a bunch. I just had this one left. Um, my girl, she doesn't even have hers anymore. And they kept all the rest of them. And, and you say Mr. Kendrick is probably down to one? Or maybe He's he has He's down more? to one, the one that I see on Instagram now. Um, and in the interviews as well that he has. Dope. That's mm -hmm. dope. Um, what was your relationship like after this first day? Um, just friends. We've always been friends. Never nothing, you know, extra. Um, he was a comedian, so he was always cracking jokes. Um, always doing silly stuff. Like I told you, food fights and things like that. And... Um, then he would get serious about his career and he would start rapping and I'd tell him if it was good or if it wasn't. Um, my girlfriend and I, we sang, so we would Did sing. he have a lot of raps that, that wasn't, maybe? Did he have any that you was just like, nah, Pac, that ain't it? No, because he was not that type of a person not to have. Um, I told my, my godson, the most famous rappers out here are the storytellers. Pac was a storyteller, and he was not somebody that made up the story in order to get you to listen. It was about stories he grew up around, stories he went through, so you were always interested. It was never, it was very talented. There was nothing that you didn't like with him. Did he ever um, mention his upbringing as far as the Panthers go? Because they played a huge mm -hmm. part. They did. Never mentioned it. Um, he was mainly mentioning his career at the time. I guess because he was so excited, you know. But never about the depth of what he went through and how he grew up. Um, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall for that. Um, he learned a lot of things I know from his mother. She was a very strong woman. At 15 is when you met him, right? Mm -hmm. At 15, um, how mature was he? Very mature. Like I said, he did a little childish stuff, like we did food fights and things like that. But when it came to his mentality, he had it. Um, he had seen a lot of stuff growing up as a child. So he was able to kind of um, push some of the, the things that you would go through as a kid aside and grow up. Um, but he still wanted to be a kid, you know, so he still had some of that in him, but the mentality way beyond his means, way beyond his years. Um, if you think Tupac was still here, who do you think he would be at this point? Hmm. He would probably be an advocate for our black brothers and sisters still to this very day. Um, he would be an advocate for children, um, the inner city children. Um, he would be doing the mentoring right along probably by Kendrick's side. Um, Do you think hip-hop would be in the state it's in? Definitely. That's his life. Um, that's, that's what got him to be able to... Um, how should I say? Uh, create his legacy, maybe? Create the legacy and also be able to deal with his life and what he's seen mm. growing up. 
Um, some people are poetry writers. Some people can rap. Some people can sing. However they get it across, it helped him to be able to be who he was. How did you feel um, about the movie? Did you see the movie? All Eyes on Me? I saw the movie, didn't like it. Um, I don't think it produced who Pac really was. Um, Why would you say that? Because knowing him, a lot of the things that they portrayed in that movie um, was more or less the bad parts. There was so much more to Pac than those bad parts. Um, they cut a lot of the life that he had out and portrayed a lot of the, the bad parts to his life. The frustration? Yeah, and he, it was so much more to him than that. Do you, um... And the family didn't like him, like it either. Do you believe... Which, which reputation you believe represents Pop the most? I mean, I know you know him personally, but from an outside looking in perspective of how other people may be Pop, which, perspective, which uh, reputation you think precedes him the most? His personality? Because it seems to, a lot of the personal people always say that, but the people yeah. who always just, from the outside looking in, had an opinion, seem to have the idea that he was just terrorist or angry black guy. Well, because they didn't know him. Um, Pac was just, the people that knew him know a little bit more in depth with him, other than what they see on TV. Um, they see him, what the news, what the media showed him, or portrayed him to be, um, the uh, negativity that they showed was not 100% Pac. Um, the people that knew him knew his heart. And a lot of those times when you're out there in those limelights like that, you have to put on an aura. So that's what I would think they see. And what people that know him saw was his personality, the funny side to him, the caring side to him, the generosity, um, the talks that he would give to people, um, you know, just in general, like get yourself together, get your life right, you know. But what you see on these cameras are something totally different. You see him shooting or guns and jail and raping. That wasn't who Pac was. And I can tell you that because I knew him. His personality was beautiful. What do you want me to say? Street school, Grandma. Street school?